Hey guys, Alone here. So today I want to talk about Senyata in specific how he used to work back in the beta and compare it to how he works now. I find it really interesting how clunky he used to be and I would prefer the new version of him any day of the week. But if you're interested on how he used to work, this is the video for you. Now before I start talking about the beta version of Senyata, I want to make something clear. The amount of information to be found about the early beta version of Senyata is extremely slim. The way that I know how he used to work back in the days is from playing the beta a small amount myself and also watching professional streamers or players such as Seagull talking about how Senyata used to work back then. Also along with me back in the days when the beta was out, watching tournament play from these players. And by these teams I mean professional teams that used to run double senyata or even triple senyata at times. Now the problem is, I'm sure there has been changes during the beta and websites that normally track these type of things like patch notes and all that does not really account for the beta unfortunately. So what I will have to do is I will cover the one version of senyata that I remember and has heard people speak about which is probably the early version beta of senyata and accompanying me the footage you're seeing in the background of how he was back then. So before I start talking about how he used to work I want to say thanks to Breezy PC for allowing me to use his gameplay in the background for this video of the early beta gameplay of Senyata. His link to the channel will be in the description. You know how Senyata has two main abilities, Discord and Harmony Orb. One healing being the Harmony one and one making targets you place it on take increase the damage being the Discord one. Imagine using the Harmony Orb on your Genji and really never having to apply it again until he dies and comes back. Or maybe placing a Discord on the enemy Genji and not having to reapply it until that Genji dies. Yes indeed, both the Harmony and Discord orb used to stay on targets you placed it on until that target was killed. If you were marked by a Discord orb which was at the time increasing damage taken by 50% instead of 30% what we have in the current game, you were pretty much doomed. So if you think that sounds bad, yeah, it gets even worse. Back in the beta and even early launch of Overwatch, you could play multiple of the same hero in one team in every single game mode, and what some teams did was that they decided to go for multiple Senyatas in their team. As in the beta, the orb of discord stacked, so you could actually have two or maybe three Senyatas on your team, and you could put all those orbs on the same target, making them take 100 or 150% increased damage, making them nearly one shot by everything. The professional Overwatch player and streamer Seagull once spoke about how he was playing really well in a tournament in the beta and the enemy team decided to go for 3 Senyatas just to keep 3 discords on him at all times, basically eliminating him from the game overall. I think that removing these mechanics making the orbs not stack and break on line of sight was a very good move by Blizzard. I can't really imagine playing really well one game and the enemy team decides to counter me by bringing out multiple Senyatas to constantly keep me discorded. It's not really a fun gaming experience experience after a while, maybe it's once or twice, but after that it's not really fun to just get discord and then get one shot by everything. But anyways, let's talk about Senyata's health pool for a bit, which used to be 150 instead of 200. 50 normal HP and 100 shields. This was actually brought into the live game as well, which was released on March 24th, but was changed on July 19 to a total health pool of 200, making it 50 normal HP and 150 shields. When it comes to the three Senyata orbs, which is the Harmony and Discord which I've been talking about and the Orb of Destruction which is the normal primary fire that you shoot the targets, their travel time to a target was actually way slower than what we have in the current game. It made the primary fire way clunkier and the healing and damage increase from your Harmony and Discord Orb was actually delayed a bit from when you actually threw them out depending on how far the target was from you. Not really the greatest feeling to throw out a Harmony Orb to a player as you're coming out of spawn to see them die just before it starts healing them. To put in perspective, they used to travel four times slower than what we have in the current game. Just watching Senyata gameplay from the beta makes it look like you're playing in slow motion compared to how he is played now. As I also mentioned before, the Discord Orb damage amplifier was changed from 50% to 30% since the beta, but the damage of his primary and secondary fire has also been changed quite a bit over the course of the game. During the beta, his primary fire used to deal 45 damage per shot, meanwhile his secondary fire dealing only 35 per shot. His second secondary fire being the ability where he charges up multiple orbs and launch them at the same time. As I said the damage of these different abilities has been changed multiple times during the course of the game, but what we have right now for the primary and the secondary fire is that they deal the same damage 
per shot, which is 46. So the last thing I want to talk about is Senyata's ultimate transcendence. It actually only used to heal 200 per second. With only 200 healing per second, it made it just possible to outheal a Hansu ultimate's damage, which is also at 200 per second. The problem was that people actually usually graviton surged, also with the Hanzo ultimate, making the Senyata's transcendence only just out to the dragon's damage, but any other damage above that would still kill the entire team. So they decided to also increase the healing to 300 per second and also give you a 100% movement speed increase while you're using it. Also as a last note I want to say that something that made me love Senyata's gameplay way more than how it was back in the days was when they changed his recharge time for his secondary fire to be zero. 0.6 seconds quicker, making it the same overall damage per second as his normal primary fire. This overall just made it way more effective to use in actual team fights and not only when you had downtime. It made it so that you can actually charge up a right click and surprise one shot someone that wasn't expecting it in an actual team fight without being inefficient. But for now, this is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, then please consider subscribing to be notified when I post future videos. Until next time, goodbye!